Hey, Sid's back with another experiment. Hello. What are we gonna need today, Sid? We're gonna need seven jars. Um, every other jar filled up about halfway. We're gonna need food coloring, blue, yellow, and red. And you're gonna need six paper towels. Okay. And some scissors. And some scissors. So we have already pre-filled ours, our jars. So every other jar is full halfway with water and every other jar is left empty. Okay, so Sid, why don't you help us with the colors? So the red goes first Okay. in the first cup. How many are we gonna put in there? We're gonna put three drops. One, two, three. And then in the second cup with water in it, we're gonna put um, three drops of yellow. So we'll leave the second one empty. We're only adding the drops to the ones with color. So three drops of yellow. And then in the third one with water, we're gonna put three drops of blue. Like this. Two, three. And then in the fourth one with um, water in it, we're gonna put three drops of red again. So we're gonna repeat the red again one, on the end. Two. Okay, so now Sydney's gonna show us the best way to fold the paper towels for this experiment. So you fold it in half the long way, like this, and then you crease it pretty hardly at the end. And then you fold it one more time the long way. And then after that, you crease it again at the end. And then you take the paper towel and you fold it the short way like this. And then you crease it hardly at the end. And you're going to need the scissors to cut a little bit off the end, about an inch, like this. Oh, inch, 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 that's perfect. We already cut our other six the same way. So we're going to need six of those total. Mm -hmm. And how? what are we going to do with those? These, we're going to put one end in this cup and one end in this cup. And then we're going to put one end in this cup and one end in this cup. And it's going to make kind of like a zigzag design to every one of the cups. Okay. So let's do that. Okay, so what happened, Sid? Um... Each, every other cup, their colors came out through the paper towel and mixed in the jar that didn't have anything. So the jars that didn't have anything anymore are now filled exactly the same level as, as, all, the rest. as all the rest. Um, so what did the red and yellow make? Orange and the yellow and blue made green and the blue and the red made purple. Made purple, so we have a perfect rainbow. So we needed that extra red to mix with the blue to make the purple. Um, and now we can take those paper towels out. And we did find that this took a little bit extra time, I think, because we use such small jars. These are little yogurt jars um, that we just happen to have a lot of. But if you have bigger cups that work, um, will work well. Um, we also used a half of a sheet of paper towel just to save it because, as you may have noticed, paper products aren't so available anymore. So it did take a little bit of longer of a time. So make sure this is something you can set aside and, um, and keep an eye on. It's not something that happens instantaneously. It's gonna take, take a bit of time. Um, and if you don't have seven, then, you know, just do red, just mm -hmm. do the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and, um, and leave the two 
leave this one and this one empty um, and just use those if you just have five. So just use what you have and you can play. So let's take that red out and let's check our perfect rainbow. So if you remember, we had filled these up pretty high. So they all leveled out to be exactly the same. They wicked. We put them on white so you can really see the colors. They mixed really well. Awesome. What do you think, Anonymous Hand? She gives it a thumbs up.